North Baton Rouge has been a challenge. Today, a group of people made a $23 million investment that they say will change the way people see the area. Miranda Thomas tells us how. Miranda. Guys, this is five years of hard work and several agencies heard the cry of community members here and brought the capstone of Scotlandville. It was atrocious. It really was a horrible facility and it was worth tearing down, which is what they did. Dilapidated, it was rodent ratch infested. The, of course, many of the windows uh, were boarded up. What was once known as the slummed, crime infested Elm Grove Garden Apartments is now the capstone of Scotlandville. In 2018, WAFB reported when the property was shut down and many families were forced to relocate. I thank God that HUD moved all of those residents to another facility and I really do hope that um, many of them that still qualify and live um, under the housing authority and the HUD changes will are back here. A team effort to redevelop and keep people in North Baton Rouge inspired these folks to form a community helping families who struggle to find housing. Well, the, the problem is, is, is really it's just the lack of affordable and quality housing within these areas. We have a significant amount of substandard housing throughout the parish. And so our goal is to introduce quality affordable housing. And we do such with partners such as the Banyan Foundation and Louisiana Housing Corporation. Outside of just the modern, appealing nature of this development, community members can expect other services like job training, GED classes, and financial wellness classes. I want the, want the community to understand this is true access. When we talk about access, we're talking about access to quality education. As you see right down the street, we have great uh, middle schools and elementary schools. We have access to transportation. Cats has a bus line. Officials say this is just one way to bring better opportunities to North Baton Rouge. And this community is the standard of what people will see in the future. And I cannot wait to see the thriving activities that the children who will live in this community will bring. City Parish leaders announced just last week another project, the Scotlandville Housing Development. Construction for that is expected to be completed in two years. Guys. Miranda, thank you. More